Hi, this is Zoe. I'm with People's Dispatch. We're here at the Shabazz Center in historic Harlem in New York City, uh, where Miguel Diaz-Canel, the president of Cuba, just participated in an homage to uh, Malcolm X, who was assassinated here. He came here accompanied by the Cuban delegation that is participating in the 78th session of the UN General Assembly. Hemos venido a honrar a Malcolm X y con él rendir tributo a nuestros hermanos y hermanas afroamericanos, al pueblo de los Estados Unidos, a quienes luchan por la justicia contra la explotación y la segregación, y a todos los que creen como Malcolm y Fidel creyeron que un mundo mejor es posible. La revolución cubana, el pueblo cubano no olvidarán jamás su papel en la invitación al líder rebelde y a su delegación para hospedarlos en el Hotel Teresa, en el corazón del barrio negro de Harlem, cuando se pretendía boicotear la presencia cubana en Naciones Unidas en 1960. When it became clear that President Castro and the Cubans would not back down at the council of my father, the historic Hotel Teresa in Harlem opened its doors. It is an honor, Mr. President. It's a privilege once again to be welcoming you and our Cuban friends on the eve of the 65th anniversary of a historic encounter that's been memorialized just, just 38 blocks away from here when the people of Harlem, as our sister Ilyasha stated, joined Malcolm X in welcoming President Fidel Castro and the Cuban delegation to the Teresa Hotel on September 19, 1960. Uh, Diaz-Canel wanted to have an action where he could uh, connect with the people of New York City, connect with the black community of New York City, which historically has had very strong ties with the Cuban people. Our president, when he came, because he was coming to New York, he thought it would be nice to pay tribute to Malcolm X, a, an important political figure of the United States, who was well known in Cuba, and who struggled for civil rights, for human rights, Afro-Americans mainly, and Americans in general, are well known in our country. By doing so, we will be paying tribute to the people of the United States, to this nation, with which Cuba would like to have, and to develop strong bonds and links that could be Honremos todos la memoria y el legado de Malcolm X como compromiso con los que han padecido y aún padecen la pobreza, la injusticia y la inclusión, con los que han sufrido y aún sufren como consecuencia del colonialismo, el neocolonialismo, el imperialismo, la explosión, la explotación, el racismo y el egoísmo. Uh, this was a meeting where people shared words, people remembered uh, this meeting, remembered the this very strong bond between these two peoples who, as they uh, said, fought against uh, white supremacy, fought against, and, uh, against imperialism, and this bond is one that continues today. This was evident with the presence of dozens of leaders from the black community here in New York and from across the nation. A very important action in the midst of this General Assembly where Miguel Diaz-Canel will be representing both his country, Cuba, and also speaking on behalf of the G77 Plus group in the United Nations. This is the largest group in the UN, representing 80% of the world's population, representing largely Global South nations uh, that have come to the UN to bring these very important demands of economic uh, equality and an end uh, to the unjust economic order that currently uh, dominates the world systems. The bonds between Cubans and African Americans represent the shared values of justice, dignity and freedom from oppression. Leaders like President Castro and my father dared to dream of a world free from racism and colonialism. Though they are no longer with us physically, their examples shine brightly and their legacies live on in each one of us. It's a legacy that we have all inherited when both leaders taught that humanity Destiny is not locked into a perpetual state of submission and oppression. We know, we know, we know that, the, that despite the hegemony of global capitalism, racism, poverty, wars, the proxy wars, 
and the acceleration of the environmental degradation that we must never, that we must never take defeat. It is not an option for us. It is not an option for us. From Harlem, from Harlem to Havana, it is the same struggle, the same fight. El encuentro entre Malcolm X y Fidel Castro, aquel histórico diálogo entre ellos que otras generaciones de cubanos y norteamericanos hemos sostenido por más de seis décadas con respeto, admiración y afecto mutuo, es y será la más hermosa prueba de cuanto tenemos en común los hijos de ambos pueblos que creemos en la justicia y luchamos por ella. ¡Viva la amistad entre nuestros pueblos!